Facts Verse presents Only one in a thousand people can solve this equation. Can you? Only one in a thousand can solve this viral puzzle. Can you figure out the right solution? Many people will say that math just isn't their thing. They didn't excel in math in high school and they still struggle with it today. Well, this math problem looks like a simple equation that can be solved easily, but that's not the case. The equation has gone viral and because there's a great deal of conflict online regarding the correct answer. The people who tried to solve this math problem have come up with a lot of different answers. Many people saw this problem for the first time on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and other social media sites. People who saw the equation were told to put their answers in the comment section. The most common answers that people came up with were 1 and 9. There are even some people who came up with 0, 3, and 6. The way these people came up with their answers is unknown, however, there is a reason why 1 and 9 were the most common answers. It all comes down to the way the people tried to solve the problem. The correct answer to this equation is 9. The way that's figured out is simple. Start by looking at the equation. Most people who try to solve this problem go from left to right, the same way that you read the words in a book or on a piece of paper. Start figuring out the first part of the problem, 6 divided by 2. The answer to that question is 3. Next, take a look at the second half of the equation, 1 plus 2. The answer to that question is also 3. Finally, when there is an equation like this, you are supposed to multiply your answers. That means that you would do 3 times 3 and that comes up with the final answer of 9. Presh Tallwalker is the creator of a YouTube channel called Mind Your Decisions. He's responsible for this math problem and then posting an explanation regarding why so many people don't get the answer correct. According to Tallwalker, there is an old way to solve math problems and a new way. If you use the old method to solve the problem, you'll come up with an answer of 1. If you use the modern way of figuring out the problem, you'll come up with 9, which is the correct answer. To help get to the bottom of all of this confusion, Talwalker posted a video to show that there is only one correct way to solve the problem. The way that this equation should be figured out is to use the order of operations. It's also known as BODMAS. B -O -D -M -A -S. It stands for the order in which a person should solve an equation. The letters represent brackets, orders, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. If you have two operations that are the same, they would be evaluated left to right. The first part of the problem is not up for debate. According to the order of operations, the problem in the brackets or parentheses is figured out first. That would be, in our case, 2 plus 1, which equals 3. After answering that problem, you would be left with an equation that looks like this. The real answer is what you should do next. If you input this equation in Google or any other search engine or scientific calculator, each of these would suggest that you would multiply the 2 from the remaining problem with the 3 that you got for the answer, which would give you 6. Next, you would take the remaining 6 and divide it by 6 to get an answer of 1. If it weren't for the fact that the order of operations is in place, 1 would be the correct answer. However, according to the order of operations, you do the question in the brackets first and then, if the precedences are the same, you go from left to right. This would make the method that you used to get the answer 1 wrong. Since the order of operations is at play here, the answer can't possibly be 1. Although certain calculators and search engines come up with the answer 1, which is still not correct. Don't be sad. If you didn't get the answer correct, you're not alone. Many people did not get the answer right because they either didn't remember the rules of orders of operation or they just never learned it. The next time you're reading your Facebook news feed or watching YouTube videos, now you'll have a good chance of getting the next one right when you remember the order of operations. If you can't remember the order, you can make up a sentence to help. For example, Betty orders multiple apples. That stands for brackets, order, multiplication division, and addition subtraction. Since only one in a thousand people was able to solve this equation correctly, you're in good company if you got it wrong. You and 999 others got the same answer the wrong answer. If you did get the answer correct, you deserve to celebrate. You remembered the order of operations and you were able to apply it to get the answer correct. You are one in a thousand. If you got the answer correct, be proud of yourself. So when you first saw this problem, did you get the answer right or wrong? 
tell us in the comments below. Be honest about it and subscribe for more.